Welcome to part three of Omni Calculator series on how to cool your drinks faster with science. Today's hack is not only very simple, but is as close as we can get to magic without leaving the real world. Just, just watch this. We have an ice water bath, which as we know should stay at zero degrees plus or minus the error tax for bringing theory into the real world. But if I now add some table salt that was just sitting at room temperature, watch what happens. What the heck? I mean, forget about cooling hacks. How can two substances just get colder than any of them by mixing them? The password is latent heat. So as it turns out, melting ice requires energy. That's why when you mix water and ice, they stay at zero degrees until all the ice has melted. Any energy provided to the system would be used to melt the ice before it can start warming up the water. But salt water freezes at a lower temperature. Just look at the oceans near the poles. So what happens as the salt dissolves in water is that the ice takes energy from it, making the salt water colder. We're basically turning thermal energy into melting energy, and the result is very cold water. In fact, to melt one kilogram of ice requires enough energy to bring two kilograms of water down by almost 40 degrees. And as we know from previous videos, temperature difference is crucial for cooling things quickly. And if we run the simulations using our own free calculator, link down below, we can see that it takes significantly less time to cool the can in ice water without the salt hack compared to using our trick. Now let's run our own experiment using the ice bath with and without the salt. As you can see, the one with the salt is way colder than the one without the salt. but let's wait for the results and see what the final temperature difference is. The temperature difference is huge. If you think that normally you would have more than one can in the bucket and you can cool them as quickly as we've seen, this is impressive. Also, if you've been paying attention to the previous videos, you can probably guess how glass or plastic containers would react in this situation. So just leave your guesses down below. I probably shouldn't tell you that our calculator just predicts those results, but alas, it's too late now. So there you have it, a hack that's super simple, almost free, and it works like magic. And, and you've even seen that combined with the hack from the previous video, we can call a regular drink in under two minutes. So don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see the next episode, subscribe to the channel and you really want to see the next video because if this hack works, and I still have my reservations, but if this works, it's gonna blow my mind. Anyway, that's literally a story for another time. So until then, have a nice day, bye.